Hello, I'm Andrew Countess, professor and associate chair in the OBGYN department, University of Florida College of Medicine in Jacksonville. Today, I'd like to discuss extended use of levonorgestrel 52 IUDs. IUDs are now used by more than 15% of US contraceptors. The majority of these IUDs release the progestin levonorgestrel or LNG Extended use of IUDs allows users to continue their intrauterine contraception with fewer removal and insertion procedures. Two recently published clinical trials assessed the extended use of full-size IUDs, which contain 52 milligrams of LNG, with brand names Mirena or Liletta. In the study assessing Mirena IUDs, investigators followed women who completed eight years of use. The cumulative failure rate for years six through eight was less than 0.7%. Of the two pregnancies identified during these three years, one had an uncertain implantation site and resolved spontaneously. A second pregnancy was ectopic and resolved with methotrexate treatment. In the Liletta eight-year extens extension trial, two pregnancies were identified during years seven and eight. The cumulative failure rate from the time of IUD insertion through year eight was 1.3%. With respect to bleeding profiles during extended use of levonorgestrel 52 IUDs, in these two trials, some 40 to 50% of women reported either no bleeding or infrequent bleeding during extended IUD use. The data from these trials confirm that Mirena and Liletta remain highly effective through eight years of use. Recently, Mirena was approved for up to eight years of use, and before the end of 2022, the FDA is expected to also approve Liletta for up to eight years. Two last points. Although IUDs are highly effective in preventing ectopic as well as intrauterine pregnancies, clinicians identifying a pregnancy in a patient using an IUD should recognize the increased risk of ectopic in this setting and proceed with vaginal ultrasound as well as quantitative HCG assessment. Finally, the extended contraceptive efficacy demonstrated in these two trials of LNG-52 IUDs may not apply to effectiveness in suppressing heavy menstrual bleeding, or HMB. In my experience, among women using IUDs specifically to control HMB, maintaining good bleeding control may require changing out IUDs every three to five years. I'm Andrew Kaunitz. Please take care of yourself and each other.